Okay, full width submenu elements. These are an extremely helpful tool for improving navigation on your website, helping people find the information that they're looking for. So this is the element that we're talking about. It is a full width element, meaning that it doesn't work well with sidebars. So if your page has sidebars, it will not work very well. It needs to be full width. Okay, so there's some different options here. So we've got uh, as we scroll down, so this is our submenu, and we can click and have links taking us anywhere. And as we go down, it is uh, can be configured to be sticky. So as we scroll, it comes along with you. There's obviously different color schemes we can have. This one in particular is set up to mirror the socket, which is down in the bottom of our website. And you can see they stick as they go down. And uh, there's a really cool feature, so any of these can be linked to any page on your website or on the internet for that matter, or it can be a click to scroll. So if we scroll, it'll take you to a certain part of your page and uh, really helpful. So if you've got different sections on your page, you can set up the sub menu to allow people to move from one section to another. And let's show you how to do that. So this here is our sub menu, full width sub menu right there. And if we get in and edit, if you noticed that this one here was our scroll, and that's the one that takes us to a certain paragraph on the page. But let me show you how to do this here. So we've got our uh, two options here. We can use an existing menu, so a menu that we've already built for some other area of the website, or we can build our custom menu, which is what this is here. And this, quite frankly, will be more typical. Uh, so we've got our menu items here. Obviously, we can rename them. And I'll get into that in just a second. And we can center them left, right. So uh, these here are centered. So these are centered on the screen, or we can push them over to one side or another. And the menu colors. So these are the presets for the color schemes that exist up in the logo area, your alternate content footer socket. Um, so those are uh, in the Web Design Phoenix theme. Those are pre-configured. And uh, you can select which one you want there. The sticky submenu is what I alluded to with this stickiness as you scroll down if you want it to stay there. If you don't, just uncheck that box. And a mobile display option. So do you want to display the full menu or do you want to display a button, which might make some sense if you've got a lot of menu items. Okay, so this scroll one here that I've pre-configured is an interesting one and I'll show you how to do this. So I just named it scroll just for simplicity, but we can obviously call that whatever we want. And the, the link can be to obviously any page or any website anywhere we want on the web. But the formatting that we use for scrolling is we use this little hashtag and then we give it a name. So for example, scroll. Okay. And we're going to open in the same window and we'll keep the styling and everything. So remember that hashtag scroll right there. And when we save it and get out, now at some point on the page, we have to define where that is. And that is done with color sections. So if we have color sections, which is just a division, a box on the page, we go within the color section. And all we need to do is right here, down on the bottom for developers, we give this section an ID. So the section ID is scroll. And so that tells the system where to go. So that is our scroll ID. And when we build our menu and we tell it hashtag scroll, that is the link. That is the place where it's going to take you. And the cool part about that is if we update and we go to the front end. So we've got our website here. We can click. It'll scroll us to this certain page. And if we check out our URL, you can see at the very end, it's hashtag scroll. So this is actually its own unique URL that you could provide to somebody. You could send an email with this link and it would not only bring them to this page, but it would scroll them automatically to this part of the page that you're interested in showing them. So these full width sub menu elements are really valuable. Uh, really important parts of the navigation structure, especially as your site starts to grow in content and you want to help people find what they're looking for. And uh, that click to scroll feature is a really popular, really modern design trend uh, that is helping people to 
uh, get to the positions on the page that they really, really want to get to. Our submenu scrolling, our submenu elements for you.